This video is a brief introduction to Google Tasks, which is the checklist tool that's built into your GCC student Gmail account. Um, like other Google tools, you can access your tasks wherever you are. It'll work in any web browser. And um, there's also a mobile app that's available for your phone that'll send you notifications about deadlines and things like that. So to get to your tasks from your email, you're going to look for this uh, blue check mark icon. And I will note that right above that, there's another tool called Google Keep, which is just a very simple note taking, um, list making tool. Um, and you can use that. We won't talk about it in detail, but the two work together pretty well. So in your tasks, the only thing you have to do to create a task is click this button and give it a name. We'll call this one homework one. You have the option to add uh, any details like a description or to give it a date and time like a deadline, but you don't have to do that. And also, let's say this is a research project that involves multiple steps or something like that. You can actually create subtasks within that. So let's say there's a research phase. There's a draft that you have to submit. And then there is a final submission that you have to do. So now those are all tasks within the homework one task and you can drag them around and however is useful for, to you to keep them organized. Um, when you're done with something, you can just check off these pieces. You can check off the individual pieces, the subtasks, or you can check off the whole thing and it will appear down in this completed tasks area. So you never really lose anything. Those will disappear eventually, but um, they're there if you do something by mistake. Um, if you have a task that does have a deadline, let's call this homework two, you can set the deadline here. Let's say this is due tomorrow at noon and one nice thing if you have a forum post that's due every week at a certain time or something like that you can set it to repeat let's repeat every week on wednesdays at noon and then you can see if i jump over to my google calendar and make sure that my tasks calendar is turned on um homework two appears tomorrow at noon and then every week going into the future so one nice thing about Google tools is they work together pretty well. Another example of that is, um, you know, if we look at this example email here, you can actually just drag that email over and create a task. So if you get an email with something that you have to do, um, that's an easy way to, to kind of move it over there and keep track of it. One last thing I'll show you to help you keep you organized. Um, you can create multiple lists. So if you have a list of things that you have to do around the around your house or something like that, and you want to keep that separate from your homework, you can create a list like that. Now your homework list is separate from your general tasks. So that's the basic introduction to Google Tasks. I hope it's useful. And as always, if you have any questions about this or your other Google, uh, GCC Google tools, you can always ask a librarian.